Hey everyone, welcome back. Any guesses what we are talking about today? Palantir. All right, so Palantir is a company which is really exciting for me to do research on because the more and more I found out about the company, the more and more I like it. And right now it's sitting at such an attractive price that I feel that it should be in everyone's investment portfolio. Again, please do your research, entertainment purposes only. But I just found out something really interesting about Palantir which I feel is going to change your and my opinion of how Palantir will be involved in our daily life. Before I dig deep into the research, let me give you a little background of Palantir because some of you might know it, some of you don't. But after watching this, I bet you will have more belief in Palantir, you'll be more bullish in Palantir, and you will know that this company is going places. Let me share my screen. So I'm not sure if you know or not, but there is something that's called PayPal Mafia. So PayPal Mafia is a group of individuals who formed PayPal back in 1998. And you see all those guys over here. And some of them, I mean, of course, are very popular. Some of them are not. But just pay attention to Inner Circle. See all the companies that came out of this PayPal Mafia. Pinterest, LinkedIn, Uber, Lyft, YouTube. I mean, you name it, uh, Airbnb, Square everything came out of this PayPal Mafia. These guys are involved, they're everywhere in all these startups that are now doing wonderful things. Now from this PayPal Mafia, here's where it gets really interesting. Peter Thiel is the founder of Palantir. Not only just Peter Thiel, but there are three more guys, Keith, Jeremy, and Jason, those who are belong to PayPal Mafia, are actually investors and executive in Palantir. So Palantir has a close connection with the PayPal Mafia and of course Elon Musk, Tesla, SpaceX, everything is from this PayPal, PayPal Mafia. So Palantir is right in the core, right in the center of this whole uh, PayPal Mafia and of course you know what that means, right? Intent, Tesla, Palantir, Data, you getting it? It's getting close, right? Very interesting. But I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to talk about something really exciting that I found out in Palantir. But before I go into that, let me just tell you what Palantir does for those of you who are new to Palantir and doesn't know. So Palantir is basically, think of it as an operating system. They have three products. They have Gotham, Foundry, and Apollo. Gotham is used by government, people, those who are doing mission critical things, wars, riots breaking out. Palantir helps that data to combine and present the data to the authorities so they can understand it better. Foundry is used by more organizational uh, companies, more like you know where, where they have data security, quality, data simplification. So it takes the data maybe from Gotham, maybe from Foundry, and simplifies it for the people like you and me to understand it better in graphs, in charts, so that we can make sense of the data. Apollo sits on top of Foundry and Gotham. It's basically a SaaS platform that supercharges Gotham and Foundry. It helps Foundry and Gotham to be easily updated and easily maintained. Now let's talk about understanding the future. So whenever we are looking for future in a company, I look for two things. Acquisitions, what kind of acquisitions is company making? Because that tells me how well the company is positioning itself or which direction the company is taking. Number two, how many open jobs or what kind of positions the company has open. That tells me the inner health of the company and how well they are progressing. So based on these, I do my research and the things that I found out about Palantir is going to change things forever. Especially for me, it did and I'm investing really heavy. I was in Palantir before. I had stocks, I had options, but now I'm going full on. Okay, so number one, if you go to Palantir's website, you will see the open positions. It's a never ending list of open positions. Okay, it's huge. Number two, they partnered with Ring Gear. It's a media company based out of Switzerland. So they are going into consumer uh, media, consumer consumption, kind of that kind of data, which is very exciting because again, you know, you and I, we create the most data in the world. And, and, and they are basically tapping into that market now. Along with that, we all know they recently partnered with IBM. UK government just signed a multi-year deal with Palantir in, in, for their Gotham and Foundry product. So they are expanding, they are going in different industries. IBM is going to give them that commercial side. UK is going to give them the foothold of international market. And of course, Ringier is a media company that we are talking about consumer media. Along with that, why did I write the third point, which is possible partnership with Facebook? This is the bombshell that I'm talking about. When I do my research, I just don't go on Google or I just don't go on traditional methods. I go a little step further. So what I do is I go on LinkedIn and I basically search for the companies, for the jobs. And from there, you find out things that 
people are not discussing yet. So guess what I found out? You ready for this? So Facebook has a job opening, not one, not two, but five job opening. Of course, it's for two positions, but it posted in five different areas of they are looking for security engineer investigator. They are looking for security analyst intern, online safety, dangerous organizations, and individuals. And guess what? Each of these job descriptions has the word palantir in it. See that? Right here. Palantir. On this job too, they have palantir. On this job too, they have palantir mentioned. You know, so I feel that Facebook is using Palantir software in the back end. I have a very strong feeling about it because I feel that there is no reason for Facebook to post jobs to have Palantir experience. It could be two reasons. Number one, they have partnered with Palantir or they are developing their own product. I think they are using Palantir's product because Facebook really knows a lot about their, their users at all times. And, and I think they need product like Foundry or Gotham or something like that to basically make sense of all the data that they're collecting every day, every second, millions of data that's coming. So I have a strong feeling that Facebook may partner with, with, with Palantir or have already partnered with Palantir. Again, look at the mafia. All these guys are interconnected. They all know each other. So there is no, I feel like, you know, it, it, it's very easy for them to, you know, uh, get together. And that's why I'm hinting Tesla because again, Elon Musk, Peter Thiel, they were very tight with the PayPal time. And I feel that they could be discussing, hey, what about Palantir using all the data that we are collecting for AI? How, we, how about we make use of that data in, 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 in a better way? So I think it's really, really interesting of what's going on here. It's early stages because if you look at the financials, this company is growing leaps and bounds. And, 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 they're, and they're 2020, let me just actually highlight it here. Their Q1 2020 forecast year over year growth of 45% operating adjusted operating margin of 23%. I mean, this is just the start for this company. This company is now getting into places. And the CEO, Alex, is he's so smart because I just read an article yesterday that he is giving his platform for free to different people. Hey, there is no free lunch. I learned that there is no free lunch in this world. He is doing that so that people get used to of its software. Once they get used to it, then they will come back and they will want the paid subscription, then they start paying them. He's doing the right thing with that they should be doing. Palantir is, I feel, one of the best companies to invest early on in my, from my research and my opinion, and I'm doing it. And I think it has a huge scope of growth as we go from here, because year over year, I mean, this, this company grew like 47% year over year. I mean, that's, that's huge. That's big for a company like that, especially with pandemic and everything that was going on. Okay, so now let's talk about the future price prediction and catalyst. So the company is growing 30% year over year, okay? So I mean, like, there is no doubt in my mind that the company is gonna do really well in the coming years. And Q1, if you see here, it's 45% growth year over year, just in Q1, which is which is massive. And they're adjusting operating profit or margin is 23%. That's a good margin for a company who's just starting out, who has so much, you know, expenses right now because they're trying to expand. And once they get to that level, you know, where, where expenses will start they will, will go up 5%, but the profit will go 50%. I mean, we can see that easily in these software companies. So in my opinion, for the next 12 months, the price target could be around, I would say, $40 to $60 in, 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 the, in the next 12 months. But I feel that in the next five years, we could easily see Palantir touching about $150, if not more. And I have a very strong feeling if you can go and, and you can do you can look at analysts what they're predicting for Palantir and every analyst saying that you know it's a strong buy right now uh, even though one or two analysts I, I, I actually read on Seeking Alpha they were saying that you know the company has uh, no future. I think right now the company is struggling because they are just starting out into so many different industries. They serve over 40 industries and now they are getting into the consumer industries. I just showed you what Facebook is planning to do with them. I mean, I think it's it's mind blowing what we can see from Palantir in the coming months. So that's my research. I, I really hope I was able to provide some value to you. Um, I am playing, I am long on, on, on Palantir. I have shares, I have options, I have leap calls on Palantir and any down day, I actually add to my portfolio. So if you have any questions, please ask me in the comments below. Um, hit that share, like, subscribe. I really appreciate your support. Until next time, you all have a wonderful day.